to Lindisfarne. Yeah! That's the most trick across the sea that you've done about, isn't it? Aye, the monks are an easy target. It would be good for the boys' first raid. Are you sure I can't come? On the toughest day, are they don't call me fair at the table for nothing? I think you need after your spell. Look, you're just a girl. Get over it. This is one job a girl can't do. Isn't that right, Andy? <laughs> I guess so. Have you seen the size of the waves on the horizon? How are you going to know which way to go in all this darkness? By the stars, of course! Look, I can see Nasta shining the way up there. That way's north, so that must be south. You'll soon be able to navigate after a bit of experience. Watch and learn, my boys. Watch and learn. Besides, should we get lost, then I'll send a message, children. Father, but how will you do that? By Norse code, of course. <laughs> <laughs>
Greetings, my fine gentlemen. I see I've come from many miles overseas. And for what do we owe this great pleasure? Greetings, my fine gentlemen. This is not how we usually say hello in these parts, but it's certainly an interesting way to greet people. We are not here for a welcome or to greet anyone. We come not in peace, but to gather your riches. We require land, jewels, and a few of your more reliable people who wouldn't go and miss either. We have come to be filthy rich. Well, you've often are quite fair. Not trying to be funny, mate. Well, not them. You know what I mean? But anyway, we'll need to show. Sorry, guys, everyone, we all might like to have this present spelt. Oh, did somebody say presents? I love presents. Is it a big cake? A new coin for my robe? I'm more than happy to spill the presents. Where are they? Be quite fun. I'm trying to make the audience aware that I'm a big, scary, vicious Viking. By shouting, this gives a stereotypical view of my people. Hang on a minute, Squires. You see, my name is St. Hayden, and my job is to record everything that goes on here. So if you can just give me a moment to get all this down. Oops, really sorry. I didn't realise. I'll give you a minute and just wait over here. Come on, lads, give the man a chance. He has just got some work to do after all. Sorry, sorry. Got a terrible problem of rushing in well before you know it. Oh, but it's all right. We're all friends here. Not really that inconvenient. I could probably do with your name if that's all right. Oh, yeah, of course. My name is Lee. Ha! <laughs> Lee? Leave it out, more like. Laughing at a Viking on that is a bad habit. You're kidding me. I ain't had it dry clean last week. <laughs> really sorry. Didn't mean to help your feelings or anything. But, Lee, it doesn't really give much of a scary impression now, does it? How about Leaf the Terrible? Ooh, I like that. Leaf the Terrible. Can you say I have long blonde hair down to my shoulders and, um... Rippling muscles like the strongest man on earth would be insanely <coughs> gentle. Yeah, that sounds great. Leaf the Terrible, charging to his helpless monastery. His long blonde hair is down to his shoulders. His six foot twain held muscles of steel as he struck with his mighty sword. Thanks, I appreciate that. Boy, what about me? Of course, sir. And your name? Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Barry? I can't write that down. This is going to be a bit messy. And why not? What's wrong with Barry? It's really not going to be to myself. Have you seen the doctor about this? No one believes Uncle Barry was a vicious Viking. We need a name for you. Both of Basher. Barry from Butcher, Barry Butcher, Barry Butcher. Thank you, Saint Frederick. I like it. Barry from Butcher. Can you make me seven foot tall? Of course, sir. Barry from Butcher. Barry from Butcher. the summer of 793 when we sailed across the great north sea comets crossed the skies at night we must have known something wasn't right you laughed upon your english shore and offered friendship but we wanted more yes so much more Yeah. 
but there's yet more to come. Let me tell you what happened next.